I'm a spud. Okay. I'm a spud. Right here, I'm a spud. <laughs> Monster Abyss. <laughs> Where did you come up with that? That's a great question, bro. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna start it hot, we'll steamy, it hot. Brand, steamy, solid liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Nuts in it. Guy took a big backdrop and <laughs> himself. That was a log in the ring. <laughs> there was <laughs> little smears of it. I was gagging during the match. It was so bad. Like we were we had to follow that. Uh, only, it only happened to me one time. It, it was the finish of me. And Christian Cage at Lockdown 2006, right. and he frog splashed me off the very top of that cage. And that yeah. cage was hot and hit me dead square in the middle. And bro, I thought I sh my kidneys and my lungs out. <laughs> it, it, it hit me so hard. There's no grandkids that you know of. I don't want That's your disclaimer. I don't want girls. Jeremy Borash needs to be sitting right next to you. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Jeremy Borash should have been involved in this. Jeremy, if you're listening, you should be sitting right there. Can he, you imagine how good this would be right now? I love if you, if you are one of the loudest fans in the building tonight, <laughs> we're going to find you and we're going to take you back stage. Hi, man. Who else have you talked with about poop and... Well, definitely Grado. Do you remember your first conversation with Grado? Like I remember my first conversation with Grado. I couldn't even understand. I did not understand a word he said. You know how airports are in the morning. You can hear a pin drop. It's so quiet. So the gate's packed. We're getting ready to board. There's, it's so crowded. So everybody else is in chairs. Me and him are sitting Indians down on the floor. And I'm reading the USA Today. And, and he's sitting right across from me Indian style. And he cuts the biggest, loudest, most catastrophic fart you've ever heard. You've been to his condo. Yeah. You know the thing, it's two miles high. He's on the 29th floor, right? He is way up there. Like, when you stay on his balcony, you know, you can see the clouds right yeah, in front yeah, of you. Yeah. Like, you're up there with him. So we get on the elevator one day. We get on at floor one, me and him, just me and him. And we're going up the elevator, and, uh, Door shuts and we start going and I'm like, yeah, we got, we got two minutes, man. And I just blast something <laughs> horrific. Ding! And it's 4-9 and it stops and I'm like, oh, somebody's getting on. And it stinks like holy hell in there. And the door opens and this old lady walks <laughs> in. And she walks on and she takes one step onto the elevator and it hits her like a chair shot. And we hit 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. Ding! Shoot. Nothing funnier than a fart. <laughs> right? Bro, seriously, how much of this is in your hair, man? Oh, did I say something wrong? I don't think it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Thanks. All right. Hey, oh, this, man, this man's the absolute best, honestly. One of the best people I've ever met in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me out, buddy. <laughs>